Since the very first bedtime, all around the world, children have known that once their mothers and fathers tuck them in and shut off the light, that there are monsters hiding in their closets, waiting to emerge. What they don't know is, it's nothing personal. It's just their job. Whoa! Oh. Nobody here. Huh? There's, there's no kid. There's supposed right, to be a kid. There's no, no kid to no, scare. Panic. I'm panicking because well, there's no, a total no, no, lack no, of kid here. Just, let's just check the schedule. It's very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. well, let me see. Nine o'clock. Yep, nine o'clock. Boys bedroom. Boys bedroom. Out of Magnolia. <sighs> Magnolia. Give me that. It's Mongolia. Mike, does this look like Mongolia to you? Would, would you listen to this? Blame it on the little guy. How original. He must have read the schedule wrong with his one eye. Okay, I'm going to go back to the break room before all the donuts are gone. Your big throw rug? Oh, nice doggy. <laughs> nice big doggy. Sully, Sully, open the door. This, you and I could be the best screen producing team Monstropolis has ever seen. I can't believe we were handpicked by Waternoos himself to train at the Monsters Incorporated private facility. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. And you building up the situation like this is not helping. Relax, Mikey. Remember what happened on our first day of college. Please, don't remind me. Yeah, okay. But I don't want to deal with another mess like that. It took him a whole semester to rebuild the dorm. Didn't I say not to remind me? Okay, you're right. It's no big deal. It's only one of the most respected companies in all of Monstropolis. No problem. It's not like we're on the verge of a screen shortage or anything. We'll be fine. Well, I don't remember seeing... A... Oh, no. We're not on the list. We are not on the list, Sully! How can this be? We filled out all the paperwork. Granted, it was extremely confusing, but come on! Oh, boy. What am I going to tell my mother? She'll be absolutely devastated! Oh, here we go. Sullivan, James P., and Mike Wazowski. You, too, have been enlisted in this training course because of your potential to become a top scare-producing team. While you are here, the two of you will work together to complete a total of 15 trials. That's right, 15 trials. If you can complete them all successfully, you will earn yourself a spot on the scare floor. Okay? Good. Please proceed through the elevator directly behind the help desk. Any questions, come see me. Welcome. Welcome to the Monster Orientation. Here you will learn all you need to know to become a top scarer at Monsters Incorporated. We will begin with the basics. Jumping. In front of you are three obstacles. Jump over them using the X button and proceed through the door at the end of the hall. Good luck. You'll need it. Great, you made it. Now for the double jump and ledge grab. In front of you is a platform that is too high to reach using the normal jump. To get on top of it, press the X button to jump. Then while in midair, press the X button again to perform a double jump. Think you can handle that? This next ledge is too high, even for the double jump. Perform the double jump to grab the ledge and pull yourself up. Fantastic. Now 
up for attacking. Not that we encourage that at Monsters, Inc. Pressing the square button will allow you to engage the toys, as well as destroy objects such as crates. Try pressing the square button while moving or standing still. Break all of the crates, then enter the next room. doing so well. To help you through training, we have provided some items for you to collect. This is a bag of calories. If you have taken damage from an enemy, the bag of calories will fill your health meter by one point. Just walk into it to pick it up. This is an extra try token. Picking it up will give you another try. Walk into it to pick it up, then proceed through the door at the end of the corridor. Great, you made it. Each monster has a unique pounce. To perform it, press the X button to jump. Then while in midair, press the square button. This move is useful for eliminating pesky toys, but it's also good for breaking steel reinforced crates. Break all five crates to proceed to the next part of the orientation. This is Primordial Ooze. It is a very important part of your training. Collecting it will increase the power of your fright meter and make your scares more powerful. As you collect more Primordial Ooze, the level of your fright meter will increase. Collect all 10 cans of Primordial Ooze and proceed to the next room. Substitute robot for children here on Scare Island and the most important part of your training. In order to graduate, you will be asked to find and scare nerves throughout the island. To do so, get close to the nerve and press the circle button. Once you are in scare mode, repeatedly press the circle button to charge yeah. up your scare. When you hear the siren and see the flashing light on top of the nerve's head turn yellow, quickly press the X button to perform a finishing scare. Give it a try and proceed to the next room. You're doing really well. Collecting primordial ooze is an important part of scaring because it raises the level of your fright meter. As you can see, the fright meter is divided into five sections. Blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. These colors match the colors of the nerves throughout Scare Island. Now this is important. 
In order to scare a nerve, you must have the matching color of your fright meter full. Am I clear? That means in order to scare the green nerve, you need to fill the green section of your fright meter. Keep in mind that these red cans of primordial ooze are each worth five points. In order to proceed, collect the red cans of primordial ooze to fill the green section of your fright meter to scare the green nerve. Got it? Pay attention, okay? Each course on Scare Island can be completed with bronze, silver, and gold medals. To obtain the bronze medal, you must scare a total of five nerves. You've already scared two nerves. Now collect the primordial ooze and scare the remaining three nerves. After you obtain the bronze medal for the orientation, proceed to the next room. I doubt you'll make it, but good luck. To get the silver medal in each course, you must collect 10 Monsters, Inc. tokens. Collect all 10 tokens in this room to obtain the silver medal, then continue on to the next room. Obtain the gold medal from each course, you will need to scare the remaining three nerves in the area for a total of eight nerves per course. This can get a little tricky. These three nerves are red and require you to have a completely full fright meter. Collect the primordial ooze scattered throughout the room, then scare the remaining three nerves to complete the orientation with a gold medal.
decorations were all really impressed. You've completed the monster orientation. One last thing. Scattered throughout Scare Island, you will find mailboxes. These contain important pieces of information and tips for you. To get the information out of them, just stand in front of one and press the square button. Good luck. Excellent work, gentlemen. Now, in order to hone your skills so that you can become top scare producers, we're going to make things a bit more challenging. Oh, well, at least we made it this far. Hey! Your first destination is Urban Field. Not to worry now, just follow that path there, and you'll be fine. Remember, at Monsters Incorporated, we recognize that our strongest assets are you, our employees. <laughs>